<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Savannah is here. Diablo 4 seasons are generating a lot of hype on the internet. There are people who love it. There are people who just hate it. Why do we love it and why do we hate it? Well, first of all, let's take a look at some of the comments that we got here. We got a guy saying, all right, so you're telling me that I'm not going to be able to use my level 100 character on your seasons? What's the purpose of playing the seasons if you can't use the character you already have? Or how about this one? Uh-uh, I'm not starting over for each season. I'm just saying, what's your thoughts? All right, I think we might be missing missing a very important piece of the puzzle here, people. Seasons allow you a chance to achieve goals that you could not get anywhere else. And then you will get some kind of reward or cosmetic to show that you actually accomplished that in this season. That's the whole point of seasons. It's like, wow, you got that trophy from season one or wow, you got that gear in season one. You can't get it again because it's only there in that season. That's the whole point of seasons. Matter of fact, let's take a look at the Diablo 4 page where they actually talk about the season. All right, this is how it works. Think of it like a battle pass. You don't have to pay anything for this battle pass. Everyone will be able to participate, right? So you could jump into the season for free without paying anything else, knock off some goals and get a lot of nice rewards. All right, so then you couple that with the premium battle pass feature. You'll get those rewards and then a couple extra cosmetics as well. I just want you to remember this. When you're going through these battle passes, seasons, whatever, keep in mind that a lot of people are saying, wait, I got to pay $20 for this. I'm not going to pay $20 every three months. It doesn't have to be that way, people. Because as we know with previous Blizzard battle passes, if you successfully complete the battle pass, you will also have enough currency to purchase your next battle pass. So yeah, by completing the battle pass, you get a freebie in the future. That's how it works with their other games. We can pretty much look forward to seeing that in this as well. So don't worry about that. So once again, point of the battle pass, point of the season is to unlock unique rewards that are stuck to that season that shows you participated in that season. People who say, like the question we had earlier, am I going to have to restart my level 100? No, you don't have to restart your level 100. You can play your level 100, completely ignore the season and have fun. Now, what happens at the end of that season, though? You've leveled up a new character. Let's say your new character hit level 100. Does it go away? No. What usually happens is that seasonal character will become a normal character and is no longer in the season, and you can share those items with all of your other characters as well. Let's look forward to that. It's going to happen in a couple days now. Ladies and gentlemen, Savadia is signing out. Be sure to hit subscribe.